Hey everybody, welcome to MuseThemes.com. This is Ashton with a brand new widget release today, our Slides.com presentation widget. This is a widget that incorporates an incredible presentation platform called Slides.com. What we're looking at here is our live demo, which is only a very small representation compared to the scope of features and functionality possible with this widget. To give you a broader idea, I'm going to switch over to Slides.com and we're going to click Explore. And I'll go ahead by just selecting one of these for fun. And we've got some pretty slick features here with the navigation, the animation. I mean, the options are virtually limitless. I'd encourage you to explore some examples, and as you do, you're definitely going to see some pretty wild and powerful slideshow features that you've never seen before on a Muse site. But with this widget, you can have it all. The way the widget works is that you design your slideshow here at slides.com, and then our widget comes in to add it into your Muse site, which is pretty awesome. This is just an example presentation here, but I want to touch on the actual editor really quick. And to do that, you're going to need to make an account here at slides.com. So I'm going to go up here to sign up. And like most backend providers, there are paid plans that you can select from based on what your site calls for. But we do, of course, here have a plan that is perfectly free. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll need to make a username. And enter an email and password. And there might be a little security verifier here. Perfect. And from my account, for now, I'm just going to select Create a Deck. And there are a ton of tools here with unlimited creative freedom. You can incorporate videos, images, shapes, even code, and so on. Way too much for me to cover here in this tutorial video about the widget, but the editor here is incredibly powerful, and your entire slideshow is built here at slides.com before being implemented into Muse. However, to make this even better, our widget has a little extra bonus functionality as an alternate option. While it does specialize in integrating Slide.com's platform and features, you do also have the option here to build your own slideshow 100% in Muse using internal pages, completely without the need for Slides.com. Now we're going to cover that towards the end of this video, but for now let's go over the setup for this widget on the Muse end of things. Starting with a blank page, let's drag the widget out onto the page. And I'll go ahead and center our container here. Cool. Now before we dive into the settings panel, let's talk about placement. This container here can be used to determine the location of the slideshow on your page. However, when we were building the widget, we did find that to have the most flexible and powerful control over the sizing features, we needed to set the sizing in the widget settings panel. So you'll want to place the widget here on the page exactly where you would like it to appear. And then we're going to set the sizing of it inside the widget settings panel. So let's take a look inside. First option here is our slides.com URL. We're going to come back to this. Below that we have our sizing. And by default you have the option to enter a height and width in pixels manually right here. Now after you pick your size, it's a good idea to make sure that the size of the widget container does match as well. So right now I have a default size of 920 by 400 pixels. Now if I close the panel, we can see here that my container also has a size of 920 by 400 pixels. So it's just a good idea to verify that they always match. It won't break the widget if they don't match, but it does make for a better reference point for you here on your page so you can see how much space it's taking up and how it's going to appear in relation to your other elements. But back in the panel, you probably notice there's an alternate option here to use a percentage-based width, which by selecting will gray out the pixel width and open up the percentage field. And I'm sure a common choice here will be to go full width, so I'm just going to leave this at 100%. But let's give ourselves a little bit more height here. Let's give it 700 pixels. Now you can see as I do that, the height is automatically shifted for us, so we don't need to change anything there. But since we do have 100% full width, we do want to make sure that the container is set to full width as well. 
full width here is really the only case where it will actually affect the functionality if the container doesn't match that setting. And then finally, let me just go ahead and set the container so it appears right on the top of my page. Perfect. Now let's give this a browser preview. We're still using our default URL, but everything loads in positioned and sized just how we want. And it's fully functional right out of the gate. So now let's cover how to get that URL so you can integrate your own slideshow. Let's pop back to slides.com. Now I'm still in my editor, and of course I don't have anything built yet, but that's okay, I can still get a URL. Down here towards the bottom left, we have a share icon. So we're gonna click that. And this first tab under link, our presentation link here is exactly what we want. So we're gonna select this and copy. And we're gonna head back into Muse now, into the settings panel, but a really important note I wanna make here. We are going to paste it but we need to add something to the URL. At the very end, we're going to add a slash and then the word embed, just like that. So that's the process. Now, of course, I don't have anything built, but that's exactly what you're gonna do when you're done in your editor and you're ready to implement your slides. But for now, let's go ahead and grab a URL from a pre-built example. So we'll go back to the site and I'll close this box. And you know what, I'm actually just gonna type slides.com in the URL, so we're taken right back to the home page. And on the very bottom, I can click Explore. Now let's jump back to our example we saw earlier. And we have a Share button here on the bottom right, so we'll click it, select our URL, and copy. Back to Muse inside the Settings panel. We're gonna paste our new URL, and then we'll add slash embed. Perfect. Now let's give it a preview. And there we go, everything looks great, and we can navigate smoothly just like that. Now one more thing to go over, how to use internal pages. So let's jump back to Muse. Now this would be your option if you wanted to create a slideshow with similar functionality, but without the use of slides.com. Your slides in this case are designed 100% inside Muse. Now keep in mind, you don't get all the special features that you get with a slideshow built in slides.com, but the beauty of using this mode is that by building each slide in Muse on a separate page, you do get certain design flexibility that simply isn't possible with any other slideshow widget out there. Anything that you can do in Muse, like images, video, animations, etc., will all appear within the slideshow without hassle. And it's really nice because most slideshow widgets like this only feature an image and a caption, but with this, there are no limits. So I'm actually going to switch over to a pre-set up Muse project file so that we save some time here having to build a bunch of pages from scratch. Here we have a home page with our widget and then four subsequent pages with a simple color fill and title card, slide one, two, three, and four. And that's it. So let's jump into the home page. And we'll jump right into the settings panel. And we'll expand this dropdown presentation using internal pages. Now our first option here will be to enable the function, so we'll click that. And then next we need to enter our page names. And here we already have written slide one.html, slide two, and so on. And just to reference, let me click back to the plan view for a second. We can see that the list of pages in the panel already match what we named the pages here. And it's definitely recommended to follow a simple naming format. Notice here we don't have any capital letters, no special characters, no spaces, just simple names for the browser to recognize. These names won't actually be seen on your site, so descriptive names aren't needed here. Now back to the settings panel really quick. Let's check out some of these additional options. Transition style, it gives you a drop down here of options for how the slides will transition from each other. Speed, you can leave it at default or select it to be slower or faster. And controller position, this chooses where the navigation arrows will appear. And the rest of these options you can toggle on if you choose. They're all pretty self-explanatory, but offer various functions like looping and autoplay, etc. 
But let's give it one final preview. And remember to preview the whole site now, not just a single page, since we are now using additional pages to create our slideshow. And there we go. Everything is looking great. So that's our slides.com presentations widget. Have some fun with the power and versatility of this one. Definitely a million and one ways to be creative here. And as always, don't hesitate to reach out to us and support if any issues arise. Thanks again.